Hey what's up, my name is Shane and today I'll be discussing 5 things that I want to see in the Kingdom Hearts 3 D23 trailer. We know that this trailer will actually be lengthy and Tetsuya and Nomura basically said that the trailer will be the shit that it's packed with new content, a new world and all that good stuff. But then recently he said that he was joking about the hype and to expect normal information and we were all kind of like I generally hope he is lying, I really do. Now if it's going to be longer than the previous trailer it needs variety. When I say variety I mean more than Sora just going heartless in various areas from start to finish. Which is pretty much what this video was about, as I said it's just things that I personally want to see so let's get into it. Number 5, Customization. Kingdom Hearts 0.2 introduced customization. We got a bunch of items that we could equip Aqua with mainly from doing objectives. The items included headpieces, shoulder pieces, colours, patterns and more. Now if we got maybe a snippet showing off the customization menu as well as objectives and maybe even Sora with customization such as wearing different colors and stuff like that. It'd be really cool to know that customization is confirmed and that we can all customize Sora to our liking just like we did with Aqua. To be honest I do not really see Sora getting cat ears like Aqua did but you know what if they get included anyway I wouldn't even be mad. You know confronting Xehanort whilst wearing some kawaii as fuck cat ears I don't think anyone will complain to be honest. Number 4 Lemma Commands Slash Links. In Kingdom Hearts 2, Lumet commands were great. We could unlock a few for Donald and Goofy as well as other party members in other worlds and they really helped during combat. So I think they would be really cool to show off some new or even existing Lumet commands with Donald or Goofy or even a new party member considering a new world will be shown off. In the orchestra trailer of I Am Right, a link between Goofy and Sora was done where basically Sora and Goofy jumped into the sky and Sora slammed him down into the ground and he did damage to nearby Heartless. And also in the E3 2015 trailer where Sora, Donald and Goofy charged to a bunch of heartless. It's actually possible that limit commands are now called links, I'm not actually 100% sure but that's what I inferred from the orchestra trailer. Anyway I'd love to see some new links and how effective they are. It'd be really cool if the likes of Nox, Smash and Comet made a return. Number 3, Familiar Faces. So in the orchestra trailer we got to see a few familiar faces from the Kingdom Hearts series such as Maleficent, Hades, Pete, Hercules, Xemnas and Ansem and it was great since we got to see what they all look like on next gen and also gives an indication as to just how good the character models will be. So in this new trailer I'd love to see some familiar faces, mainly Final Fantasy characters to be honest. I generally can't wait to see what Leon, Cloud, Yuffie, Sid and of course mother fucking Sephiroth will look like in Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm sure they'll look amazing. Just saying Square Enix if you want to add Noctis from Final Fantasy 15 uh, you should because uh, we'd all love to see him. I'm actually hoping that Orin who might make a return in Olympus. Not sure if that's likely to happen but I really liked his character and he was a really good party member in Kingdom Hearts 2. We have no idea what characters will be returning, what new ones might be added but I am looking forward to seeing which ones will feature in Kingdom Hearts 3 and if this trailer showed off a few that would be great. Number 2 Gummy Ship. In Kingdom Hearts 1 the Gummy Ship levels were pretty basic for the most part and not many people enjoyed them. I honestly didn't have much of a problem with them to be honest but then Kingdom Hearts 2 came out and took Gummy Ship to the next level. Let's have a little comparison. So yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 Gummy Ship is like the first game but on steroids, which is why I really want to see what the Gummy Ship levels look like in Kingdom Hearts 3 because there's a chance they could change it again and make it even better. Keep in mind Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 came out on the PS2, we're on PS4 now, so there's endless possibilities as to what the Gummy Ship levels could be like and just how good they could look. If they do decide to make any changes, I hope they keep it fast paced, good variety of areas, good music, basically just all the things that made the levels in Kingdom Hearts 2 so enjoyable. I'm sure this will come as no surprise but I thought I might as well include it anyway. Number 1 is the year of the release date. So imagine this trailer is amazing, I mean it's packed with so much amazing new content and you think that it can't get any better but at the end when the Kingdom Hearts 3 title comes up it says coming 2018 or even 19. Imagine actually having confirmation on the year of the release date. It would be the perfect way to end the trailer and then we can sleep at night knowing what year it will be released. Not sure if I can see that happening to be honest. I could just imagine Tetsu Nomura coming out at the end and being like yeah that, that's fucking right. It's, it's actually coming out. No, 
know you can all stop off your shit posting and your shitty memes about this game never being released. I'm pretty sure I could die if that happened. Even if there is no release date, at least we'll probably get an amazing trailer to keep us satisfied for now. Anyway, this is just five things that I'd like to see in the Kingdom Hearts 3D23 trailer. I could have included dry forms, story content, stuff like that, but I don't want to know absolutely everything that will feature in this game. The trailer will be released tomorrow and I'm sure all of us Kingdom Hearts fans can't wait. Feel free to let me know what you're hoping to see from the trailer or just anything for that matter in the comment section. Stay tuned for more Kingdom Hearts content and as always, to those who happen to watch in this video, thanks for taking the time to watch it. It's much appreciated and I'll see you in the next video.